In 2016, a man who needs no introduction, Elon Musk, tweeted that traffic had been driving him nuts. So he did what any billionaire would do in that situation. He launched a new company and started digging. His plan? To build a transportation network so futuristic and so unique that it would shift attention away from the Las Vegas iconic skyline with its Strat Tower, Sphere, and ultra-luxury hotels, and put the focus on a new network of subterranean tunnels. Dubbed the Vegas Loop, this under-construction project has a potential to change everything we know about inner-city transportation, offering Vegas locals and tourists an alternative, more eco-friendly and faster way to get to their respective destinations. How will it do this? Well, let's take a closer look. Soon after publicly expressing his dislike of traffic, Elon Musk launched The Boring Company as a subsidiary of his space exploration firm, SpaceX. The stated goal of this new firm was to build a vast network of underground highways that would significantly cut down travel times in the highly congested Sin City. It wasn't until 2019 that the company was contracted for its first project. The Las Vegas Convention Center, which had been undergoing a $1 billion renovation, contributed roughly $50 million of its budget to make the first phase of the Vegas Loop a reality. This was a win-win situation for both parties. Convention Center authorities would get access to a modern transport network capable of moving the thousands of tourists who visit it every day. The Boring Company, on the other hand, would get a chance to show what it could do if given the opportunity. To complete this first section of the loop, the Boring Company would have to build three massive stations and dig two long underground tunnels, roughly 40 feet deep and 12 feet in diameter. As you'd imagine, this was an extremely complicated task, but the Boring Company quickly proved it was up to the challenge. In February 2020, just three months after breaking ground, workers shifted nearly 4,500 feet of dirt and carved out the first of its tunnels, nearly a mile long. A couple months later, the company announced that it had completed a second tunnel and built a total of 1.7 miles of underground highways. As 2021 rolled around, the first phase of the Vegas Loop was inaugurated with much fanfare. In just two years, the Boring Company had successfully built three stations, connecting the convention center's exhibit hall with the north, central, and south halls. Passengers were ferried through the subterranean highways in a fleet of Tesla's Model 3 cars at speeds exceeding 150 miles per hour. This, coupled with the fact that there's no underground traffic, essentially turned a 45-minute walk across the convention center campus into a two-minute car ride. The LVCC Loop, as this phase is called, was designed to accommodate about 4,400 passengers every hour. It didn't take too long to prove its value either. During the SEMA show in 2021, it transported up to 26,000 visitors a day across the 200-acre facility. It was truly an astonishing accomplishment, and one that didn't end there. Following the launch of its first phase, the Boring Company announced plans to replicate its success across Las Vegas and create an all-electric, emissions-free, and high-speed underground public transport system of the future. According to the initial blueprint, the Vegas Loop would work much like the average subway train network, only in this case, passengers will be directly taken to their destinations in self-driving Teslas, with no immediate stops along the way. Plans were unveiled to link several of the most popular resorts and landmarks in Vegas to ease congestion. But that's not all. The Boring Company also suggested that one of its goals was to create an underground Tesla tunnel that links Las Vegas to Los Angeles. It sounds a bit far-fetched, I know, but unlike Elon Musk's ill-fated Hyperloop project, the Vegas Loop is far from a pipe dream. Since 2021, the Boring Company has already acquired enough land to build 68 miles of tunnel and enough permissions for an estimated 93 stations. A year after the first phase was inaugurated, the Vegas Loop officially began its expansion plan. In 2022, a new Resorts World station was opened to the public, connecting thousands of more guests to the Las Vegas Convention Center. Then, in 2023, as the Vegas Loop celebrated its 1 millionth passenger, the Boring Company announced that another tunnel had been created. This over 2,000-foot underground highway linked Wind Resorts to the Convention Center, with a station expected to come up near the Encore Valet entrance. 
Once ready, it will potentially reduce travel times between the two locations to one minute. If that wasn't impressive enough, the Boring Company simultaneously announced that it had completed work on a second tunnel during the same period, this one linking the convention center to the Westgate Las Vegas Resorts and Casino. Once this was done, the Boring Company set its sights on a different target. The Boring Company broke ground on a tunnel that will connect the Las Vegas Convention Center and a new station on Paradise Road. It will be just across from UNLV's Thomas & Mack Center. The Virgin Hotel is also expected to have a stop on the route. According to LVCVA President and CEO Stephen Hill, this tunnel could be operational in the next 12 to 18 months. In 2024, the firm purchased a 1.3-acre plot of land near the University of Nevada, Las Vegas to build a new terminal. This station is expected to be a part of a whole new line of the loop and will link the university to Allegiant Stadium. So where does the Boring Company go from here? As per the latest reports, newer tunnels are being built every day, with one even reaching as far as the Virgin Hotels. This makes the Paradise Road Resort the first off-strip destination to become a part of the Loop project. According to the company's plans, there's no limit on how much this project can grow. Already, there have been talks for stations as far south as Las Vegas Boulevard, Blue Diamond Road, and the airport. Expansion is also set to head towards the Mob Museum downtown and west into Spring Mountain in Chinatown. If the Boring Company is to be believed, the projects will be officially completed by 2027. Only time will tell if it meets that deadline, but going by the sheer speed at which tunnels are being created and the frustration its founder has expressed on X, it's likely that Vegas will host the world's most innovative transport network very soon.